Hi there, this is Sheila. Welcome to the Painted Pig Studio. Okay, so this is the new journal that I've started that I'm going to call the Betty. And I've got the um, <laughs> heat and bond uh, ironed onto my fabric. And this is the fabric. Now, I made a little boo-boo, but I'm hoping it's going to be all right. <clears throat> I made a little boo-boo cutting this corner. I cut it too deep. So, I think what I'm going to do first is try to line this up and see just how bad it is or how good it is. If I can cover it with a corner piece, then that's what I'll do. And looks like this corner over here is the only one that's going to be perfect. <laughs> but that's okay. I say all the time, it doesn't have to be perfect. <clears throat> so, I'm just wondering if I go ahead and wonder if this will have any effect. We'll see, huh? Maybe. So, while I get my iron heated up, I'm sorry, my iron is on the other side of the room, so I won't be able to do it on camera, but at least you can see a fraction of it. And I think I did um, record some of it when I was cutting it. See how it slides around? I'm afraid it's going to do that when I try to iron it and fold everything over. So, see, it, um, like I used to tell people when I would um, have to train a new person <clears throat> at work, I, I would show them how I did it, and then I would tell them that um, after they get going, they may find that they don't need to take as many steps as I do. And it's because of my, let's just say, um, not deficiencies, but <laughs> disabilities, um, that I have to do a little bit extra. And in this case, that didn't even work. But... It's still going to be pretty. It's still going to be pretty. And if this does not work, I'm not going to cry about it. I'm not going to worry about it. I'll just do it again. <laughs> okay? All right, let's iron this on. All right, so I'm back. <clears throat> I have ironed the cover onto the, uh, the book front and back. And now I'm going to... <clears throat> that aside and let that just be what it's going to be for a minute. Oh, let me show you before I do that though. Uh, these are going to be my inside papers. It's from an old paper pad I had. It's good, good solid paper. And so they'll go very close to the edge and then well, I'll have my um, uh, little end cover, which I can't see one right at the moment, uh, that I'll put right there. And that will cover that little, that little boo-boo place, and this little boo-boo place. So, I think that will be pretty. I know it's got kind of a brown theme, doesn't it? But, I don't think of the 30s and 40s as being that colorful for some reason, but... I'm sure there'll be some color entered into it before it's over with. Now, uh, real quickly, I do want to show you how the uh, papers that I dyed turned out. Um, and these will be uh, the covers of my three signatures. Yeah, I did find some Tim Holtz vellum from his Wallflower collection. And I pulled these because I thought I might 
cut out some of the photographs or some of the pictures of the children um, to put in there because it is just going to be the old fashioned uh, photo of Betty on the front. So, and I've got this box that it's my project box kind of. So, whenever I start a new journal, I always pick out my papers and dye my papers, whatever, and they go in this box. So, and whatever is not used at the end, well, then I get to try to find a place for it and put up. Let me see if I can straighten this up. Um, okay. Well, hope that's right. So, I want you to see how these papers turned out. Now, I have ironed them, but some of them, you know, just the wrinkles won't come out. And, um, the doily and the cheap sketch paper sketch pad paper, the newsprint paper, the doily, okay, here we go, that had a doily on it, so it left an imprint, so pretty, so, so pretty, and these are just the lined notebook paper, it's more of that newsprint, and it was on the very bottom, and it picked up the colors of the paper bag and I think that is just so cool that's one of those happy accidents even if it is backwards I still I still think that's so cool the way it's faded and 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 um broken up like that I just love it this was graph paper of course the green in the graph faded off as soon as it hit the water and <clears throat> So these just turned out even better than I had imagined, I believe. Here was another doily, and you can see the imprint. Isn't that cool? And look at that. Some of these I think I might should scan and keep in a folder on my uh, computer in case I want to print some of these out. And I think I will. I'm gonna see, this is the one with the stencil. And this is that sort of parchment-like paper. Another one with a larger doily. And that's funny that it soaked up on this side, but not so much on that side. And that was another, another stencil, the honeycomb-like. Just so cool. It even got on the back of that one. <laughs> And the envelopes, uh, one got torn, but that's okay. Now, I think it's very interesting the way they turned out. I had them laid out in such a way, I think, like that. And, yes, it's this one where um, one of those uh, sketch pad papers was laying on, top, lying on top of it. And it made an imprint up there. That's cool. And look at that. So, and then that's my masterboard collage there. So, I think that turned out, they turned out very, very well. And I am going to scan a few of them, I think. So, I will have them. Especially these 8 and a half by 11 ones. So, there we go. Um,. Oh, there's another one right there. It's pretty. And so, for the, um, <clears throat> I didn't show you all these. I did show you the Tim Holtz. But, um, that'll be on the cover. And I'm thinking I may, I may put some, um, dyed paper behind it. <clears throat> Let's see if you can get an idea. Something like that. Has, uh, the rest of the papers are double sided and I think it would just look better that way. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. And um, this is from a paper pad. The same paper pad as this, which is pet themed. Cat and dog themed. But I don't think these little paws on there are going to are gonna be a problem. They are. I'll cover them up. But see, that will be one signature. 
and this will be one signature unless it clashes too much. No, I think it's okay. And then most likely this will be the signature in between the two. So let me know in the comments below if you think that's going to work well or if you don't. Because then I'll have to get a plan B. <laughs> because I'm really not sure. I'm not sure, for instance, if I want to use this. I mean, it looks vintage enough on the inside, but what do you think? Anyway, let me know in the comments below. And then I'll be back uh, next time and maybe we'll be sewing some signatures in. Or at least getting them ready and giving you an idea of how to do it. Okay? Alright, so, um, as usual, take care, stay well, oh, and let me remind myself to ask you to subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, and like the video, please. Or I'm going to do another giveaway at 50, so tell your friends, let's get on board. And, uh, so, I will do a video, um about that when I get, get everything together that uh, will be in the giveaway. So, again, take care, stay well, hugs and kisses until we meet again. Bye!